Hi there, James from Wombat Servers here. Today we're going to be looking at how to manage your configuration files and set up your server the way you want. Access your files by clicking on the Configuration Files button. Here, the standard configuration files are listed. To edit your server settings, click on the Configuration Editor next to Server.Properties. In here, you'll see various properties that you can change. For instance, the server name. We're going to change that to the borough. Below that is the message of the day, which appears in a server list when a user joins your server. We'll change that to say, hello world. Next we have the level name. For now we're going to leave this as world, and we'll go into more detail about this later. The next setting is the view distance. This dictates how many chunks are sent to each player on your server. Ideally you should keep this at 10 to reduce server lag. The max connection setting is how many connections from the same IP you can have. This will prevent users with multiple accounts from signing onto the server at the same time. The level seed is just as it is in single player. A predetermined world can be loaded from a seed. Verify names will check a player's username to ensure that it is a premium Minecraft account. This will prevent fake accounts from joining your server. The admin slot will allow your ops or admins, who are the staff members of your server, to join even when the server is full. The Hell World option is now obsolete and there is no need to touch it right now as it will do nothing. Allow Nether will enable or disable the usage of the Nether in your server. Spawn monsters and animals will disable or enable the spawning of the creatures. PvP will enable or disable player vs player combat in the server. Allow Flight will allow the usage of flight mods such as the zombie mod pack to be used on the server. And finally Whitelist will enable the whitelisting on the server, which means only the users that you specify are allowed to join it, thus making it a private server. Once you have all the settings that you want, click the save button up the top left. This will return you to the configuration list. If you want to edit the file more directly, click on the text editor button. This will show you the servers.properties file as it truly appears. From here, you can change many more settings at your will. Click the save button when you are done. We are now going to set the ops on our server. Ops or operators are users that have access to all the commands on the server, such as the ban or kick command. They will also be able to enter creative mode and spawn whatever they want. So click on the text editor button next to the ops.txt. In here, enter the users that you want to be operators on the server. Click save when you are done. If you enabled whitelist in the configuration editor, which is a list that will contain the only users who can connect to your server. This effectively creates a private server in which you dictate who is allowed to join. Do the same in the whitelist.txt file. Enter the usernames that you want to be allowed on the server. Click save when you are done. If you want a public server in which anyone can join, be sure to uncheck whitelist in the configuration editor. Return to your game control panel and restart your server to ensure that all changes have been saved. Opening up Minecraft and connecting to our server will enable us to make sure that our settings have been saved. Perform a simple command like time set zero to check that you are an op. Return back to the control panel. If you want the ability to edit more complex settings of your server, then proceed to the file manager. From here, you'll be able to see all of the other configuration files that may be placed there by Bucket or Tekkit. In here, you can click on the little edit button to edit the files and enter the settings that you wish. Be sure to click save when you are done and restart the server. That's all for today. I'm James from Wombat Servers and I'll see you next time.